Mary lives in a village called Nazareth. She is engaged to Joseph. One day, an angel comes to her and says, Peace be with you. Mary looks surprised at the angel. Do not be afraid, Mary. Of all women, God has chosen you to be the mother of the king he promised a long time ago. You'll give birth to a son whom you are to call Jesus. The child will be conceived by the Holy Spirit. Your child will be called Son of God. Everything is possible with God. Mary says, may your word be fulfilled. During the night, Joseph dreams about an angel comforting him with the words, Do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, for her child is conceived by the Holy Spirit. God has chosen Mary to be the mother of God's Son. This child has come to save the world. Joseph wakes up and immediately knows what he has to do. He will take Mary home as his wife and take care of the baby just as the angel has told him. In these days, Caesar Augustus issues a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman Empire. Because of this census, all people have to travel to the cities their families are originally from. Joseph's family comes from Bethlehem. Therefore, Joseph and Mary have to go to Bethlehem. The journey is long. Joseph and Mary have to walk for five days. Most of the time, Mary sits on a donkey. She is tired and needs rest. It won't be long before she gives birth. Finally, they arrive in Bethlehem. The little village is very crowded because of the census. A lot of people have come to Bethlehem to be registered. Joseph and Mary are looking for a place to spend the night, but all the guest rooms are occupied. There is no place for Joseph and Mary to rest. Mary is exhausted. The owner of an inn shows her compassion and takes Joseph and Mary to a small stable. Now they at least have a place to rest after the long journey. There in that stable, Mary gives birth to a son. She wraps him in cloths and carefully puts him in a manger. Mary sings, My soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation.